The purpose of this video is to show you how to install a wrought iron balusters on wood railings and posts. Uh, this is white oak and we put these wrought iron, just simple I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to show you how to do that. My name is Aaron Hilliard, Blackjack Construction. And uh, yeah, here we go. So these posts have all, I mean they are super sturdy. I cut a hole through the floor and I inserted, so I measured back to make sure that the edge of the rim of this loft area, that I'm going to land right on the inside of that. So I cut it, I measured back three inches from this edge because it hangs over an inch. We got a half inch of drywall and we've got an inch and a half of board, so that makes three inches and notch through the floor through this nice bamboo so it's a little bit scary double double check for sure and it slid down in there i got it to the proper height of 38 inches the rail is at 36 the top of the rail and so once it was right at the right height i came in from the outside and put two big leg bolts in there and it's glued so these are super sturdy and uh now to put in all these balusters. We'll go with our sweet laser level and we're going to point it. We're going to get it straight with that. And it shoots a plumb beam. When I'm straight centered with that hole, it shoots a plumb beam straight up. Right up. And that's the next. Salt leveling. So it balances itself every time. So now we're going to measure the baluster height, floor to bottom rail, we've got 33 and 3 quarters. So I have a little Allen wrench for these shoes, it's very small and it would be easy to lose. I'm going to put a piece of blue tape on it. Way. A little easier for me to see. So here we go. I'm going to do this one so that y'all can see it. I'm going to get the screws on the same side. They're a little easier on me. Yep. Here we go. Down into the hole. Let's go. Alright. this up. They have to be four inches, no more than four inches between them. So because these are thin, they're only a half inch, I'm gonna put them every four inches anyway. So I try to find where will be an even gap between each post. So I'll lay out center and I'll count four on center back and four on center down and see where those are gonna land. And I can adjust the whole scale up and down. I can eliminate one. As long as I don't have a gap bigger than four inches anywhere, I don't want an inspector to be able to say nope. So here we've got like three inches, here we've got three inches, and then four, 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 all the way through. And I marked them out, but I'm gonna double check, make sure that they're all on four. Yep, all on four. So we got four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24. 28. This one I already put in kind of to show the homeowner what it is. So now we've got it all drilled, we got it all vacuumed. Now we gotta go cut these balusters. It's the same deal as the ones on the flat surface. I'm not gonna cut them at an angle because they're just going up into 